welcome to lnp renewable system data today we are going to discuss about okay data science basics because nowadays there are so many vacancies which are coming for data scientist but before trying to know what is data scientist what are its roles first let us try to know what is data science so that's the reason why we had session uh, we had classified the session into two parts part 1 and part 2 okay in the part 1 we will discuss what is data science why should i know about data science where will i use this data science and what are the basic things i should know in the data science and what are the different types of data science and what are the important components of a data science okay and what are the different types of machine learning which is available what are the main process of a data science okay what are the tools that we are going to use in a data science and what are the job opportunities of a data science okay apart from it we are going to make a different study between what is the major difference between data analysis and data analytics okay and what is the major difference between a qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis first what is data science data science is a process of building cleaning and structuring data sets to analyze and extract meaning okay, it deals with the process of data mining cleansing analysis visualization and actionable insight generation okay so if you want to become a data scientist you must have a basic knowledge of mathematics computer programming statistics to solve the complex data problems in an efficient way to boost the business revenue okay so inside the data science okay we can uh, you know there are so many branches okay uh, because at a part of data science data cleansing will be there visualization will be there data mining will be there data analysis will be there and actionable insights also will be there so how we can use this data science in business in business data science is used to collect organize and maintain the data which is often used to write algorithm that makes the large scale analysis possible okay so what are the benefits that we can take out of uh, using data science in business is that we can gain customers insight we will try to know about what exactly the customer okay habits okay what where uh, where are the demographic locations of those customers what they are preferring okay what they aspire for so those insights we can gain through data science next is we can increase the security okay so we can all using data science we can increase the business security and protect the sensitive informations okay and also we can inform the internal finances say for example we have, might have a financial team we might have a uh, organization with a financial team we can utilize the data science to create report generate forecast and analyze financial trends okay and most importantly we can able to know the company's cash flow asset budget debts okay the, all this information we can gather okay we can make a financial decision using the help of this algorithms trends okay if uh, you know uh, your finance is getting developed it's okay if it is getting uh, degraded then easily we can able to identify it internally before it happens okay and most importantly we can do the streamline manufacturing because we might be manufacturing machines okay which gathers the data from the production process at a very high volume okay in case okay where the volume of the data collected is too high for a human to manually analyze it right so for that uh, we can write an algorithm okay which will help us to clean sort and interpret it quickly and accurately to gather the insight that that drive the cost saving improvements and most importantly we can predict the future market trends okay we can by collecting and analyzing the data on a larger scale we can able to identify the emerging trends in the market okay next what are the applications of a data science so data science is very much used in internet search engines speech recognition okay and most importantly the recommender system is youtube netflix amazon self drive cars image recognition compared to analysis of price okay fraud and risk reduction robotics okay so in real life we are using the data science system example amazon is a multinational e-commerce company which is using the data science for the following business optimization okay for selecting the ideal route routes plants and product grouping to reduce the delivery cost they are making a selection of warehouse to minimize the distribution cost best utilization of a traffic prediction in order to cut down the time spent by the drivers in a traffic jam okay and de- detect the system interferences okay the products are properly categorized by utilizing the tagging and indexing algorithm okay 
they provide a competitive real time analysis they provide advertising optimization and inventory forecasting they check the market trend and sales forecast they detect the employees at risk for committing fraud and leaving jobs without any intimation they provide advertising optimization and inventory forecasters it increases the marketing and advertising efficiency by providing the correct customer segmentation next most importantly it optimize the redundancy with the budget constraints it maximize the profit with the reduce cost on publisher author or vendor okay advertisement relevancy algorithm to select and rank ads okay to be exhibited on particular web page to facilitate the invitees and to grow the profit okay when we get into the brief history of our data science it was started in 1962 eventually it got developed in 1974 further it got an upgradation in 1977 again it got a uh, leap in 1989 and further it got developed in 1994 and 1999 uh, there are so many new developments after 2001 there are so many new versions Okay, organizations got involved in it uh, in order to create uh, make this uh, data science most important. So, International Council for Science has been founded in 2006. Okay, and in 2008 and 2011, okay, the new name called data scientist come into usage. And from 2011, data science scientists are being used in the industries for the upliftment of the business process. So. as we told earlier there are so many important components inside a data science and the first and the foremost important is the data it is a plural form okay we can categorize the data into two one is the qualitative the other one is the quantitative it is based on the descriptive information whereas this quantitative is based on the numerical information okay in the categorical or qualitative data we have a binomial data and a unordered data and a ordered data and in case of uh, numerical data we have a discrete data and a continuous data inside the continuous data we have a category of interval and the ratio so there are variable data with only two options either good or bad comes under the category of binomial data whereas in the unordered it is a variable data which is a in the unordered from example red color green man all these are unordered data next is the ordinal data it can be short medium or long so if you go get into what is this discrete data these are countable example whole numbers number of children these are some of the examples continuous data is nothing but the height weight and the length okay so interval is nothing there is no true zero it is nothing but the absence of temperature okay uh, absolute zero height can be an example of zero okay next the most important component of uh, data science is data big data machine learning statistics and probability and the programming language so data we had already discussed now let us try to know this big data so there are four important ways of a big data one is the volume that is scale of a data okay it can be anything there the 6 billion people is a uh, big volume right is an example okay and most importantly 100 terabytes is a big volume okay 40 zettabytes is also a big volume right so it means uh, it is this or the volume or a scale of a data next is a variety there are different forms of data there can be data from facebook there can be a data from youtube like videos or a different data even from our wearable gadgets like smart watches we can collect the data okay next is a velocity it is the analysis of a streaming data say for example uh, you know 18 billion network connections okay 1 terabytes of uh, trade informations 100 sensors so all these things comes under the category of velocity next is the veracity okay so for example it is uncertain of data sometimes uh, you know if the data is properly not handled if the quality is getting reduced for data handling there is a possibility for the business to reduce so it means data handling plays a very important role it means these are the very big datas okay next uh, programming language because in the most commonly used programming language for data sciences python and r they play very vital role in data organization visualization and data investigation so python we all know it is a high level programming language okay and the best feature of the r is that data visualization it doesn't means that only python and r we are using there are another languages we are using in data science like java 8 with lambdas and scala okay for structured data we are using sql okay and um, for unstructured no sql is used okay next uh, when we get to know about uh, the machine languages there are three types 
one is supervised machine learning and the other one is unsupervised and third one is the reinforced learning okay so we all know in the supervised learning the label data sets are used here as a input and output variables are used to produce the outcomes whereas in case of unsupervised machine unlabeled data will be used okay as a input variables and there will, be, will not be any output variables okay reinforcement learning it is different from supervised learning it is about taking the appropriate action in particular situation to maximize the reward okay next there are four main process of a data science one is the data exploration 70 percentage of the time is spent in uh, information investigation next is the modeling it utilizes the machine learning algorithm to fit the information into the model next is the model testing okay so it will do R and D. It will make a precision in the model with the different. Uh, it will try to create the different qualities in it, and it will make the precise out of it. And for and the final will be the model deployment after obtaining the ideal outcome uh, out of this uh, appropriate testing. Um, model will be deployed. Okay. Next, year, what are the tools that we are using for data science? Rapid Miner. Okay. Data Robot. MATLAB. Okay. Excel. Tabula. Trifecta. nine like this uh, uh, we are using so many data science tools okay next what are the job opportunities of a uh, if you learn a data science so if you are good at data science you can be a data architect okay you can be a data engineer you can be a data scientist you can be a data analyst you can do data visualization you can be a database administrator you can be a machine learning scientist you can also be a business intelligent consultant so who is the, this data architect he builds and maintain the company's database by identifying structural and installation solutions okay he works with the database administrator and analysts to secure the easy access to the company data so his duties includes creating database solution evaluating the requirements and preparing the design reports next data engineer okay he works with a variety of settings to build systems that collect manage and convert raw data into a usable information okay for whom data scientist and a business analyst to interpret so the ultimate goal is to make data accessible so that organization can use it to evaluate and optimize their performance next is a data scientist he is a professional who collects large amount of data using analytical statistical programming skills okay it is their responsibility to use the data to develop the solution tailored to meet the organization unique needs next is a data analyst He oversees organizational data related to sales, market research, logistic, linguistic, and other behaviors. So they use the technical expertise to ensure that data is accurate and of high quality. So data is then analyzed, designed, and presented in a way that helps the individuals, business, and other organization that makes a better decision. Next is the data visualizer. Okay, so it makes use of this large and complex data more accessible, understandable, and in the usable format. it is like it plays important role in transforming improving and integrating the data depending upon the business requirement okay it can also be called as a data federation okay next is a data administration so they work with the database software to find a way to store organize and manage the data troubleshooting keep the database up to date helping with the database design and the development managing the database access design maintenance procedures and putting them into operations next is the machine learning scientist they do research modify and apply the data science and data analytic prototypes to create and construct methods and plan for machine learning they employ test findings to do the statistical analysis and improve the models okay so to search internet for training data sets that are really available okay next is the business intelligent consultant they do testing implementing and documenting the business intelligence systems they evaluate the existing and data collecting and analytic systems so buildings predictive models and machine learning algorithms next let us try to sort out the difference between the data analysis and data analytics so in data analysis data definition cleaning investigation transforming them into a meaningful results whereas in case of data analytic we, we used to collect the data and we do inspection that's it so it is used in data analysis is used in business to analyze the data and extract the useful insight from the data whereas in data analytics it is used for business to make the verdict from the data which are data driven it is used to perform predictive analysis descriptive analysis 
exploratory analysis and interfinal analysis whereas data analytics they use to find the market trends customer preferences okay and anonymous correlations okay what are the tools that we are using for data analysis rapid miner google fusion tables okay nodal excel okay then all from alpha these are all being used for data analysis for data analytics we are using python sas r okay then tableau public apache spark excel these are all frequently used so now when we try to make a find out the difference between qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis it is a subjective analysis because uh, because of the absence of statistical data it is a objective analysis due to the presence of statistical data so the classification of the data based on attributes and properties such as color gender it is in quantitative the classification of a data is based on measurable quantities like volume weight length okay it is a very small data collection qualitative in case of quantitative it is a large data collection so the most important methodology which is being used in qualitative is the investigation methodology whereas in case of quantitative it is a decisive okay and results are particular to the objects being examined these obtained results can be applicable on general population okay so <clears throat> in qualitative there will be an indefinite questions observation and interviews are conducted by the researchers whereas in case of quantitative analysis we make measurements surveys observation and experiments are will be made by the researchers in qualitative analysis it is being performed okay to obtain the profound knowledge about the accuracy of certain objects in quantitative analysis okay it is performed to test the hypothesis and furnish the future forecast thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us we have provided the contact details here we are lnp renewable system integrator we are providing plc programming training for siemens allen broglie and delta plcs and also we as a lnp renewable system integrator okay if you want to work in gcc countries like qatar oman saudi especially in the building management system and building automation control system we can provide training on it okay so once you got trained from us directly you can go and work in the gcc countries by knowing about the basic knowledge is about the building management system and building automation control system and if you had a plan to implement okay uh, dc light system where the ev power is not available you can contact us uh, you might have an agriculture farm if you want to protect your crops from the wild animals instead of going for a normal fencing you can use solar electrical fencing we are providing solar fencing as a kit and most importantly we are also supporting solar on grid off grid hybrid applications so street light solar pump services design installation testing and commission consultancy and training supports also we are helping in okay you know knowing the basics of access control systems electrical vehicle technology basics okay fire alarm basics you can contact us we are providing certifications on that also we have provided the contact details here thank you so much and most importantly if you have missed if you want to know more about this uh, discussion about the data science we had subscribe to our channel in our channel we have created uh playlist of data science basics part 1 to 2 english so that whatever thing that you are missing in the playlist you can able to see both the videos that we have discussed regarding the data science